How is it going, my heroes, my villains, and everybody in between? Sean Ross here, and welcome back, guys, to another live reaction to my hero, Academia. We are on manga chapter number 329, and I think this might be one of the longest titles we have had for a chapter. In the nick of time, a big time maverick from the West. It's our duty to rise above this madness. Time to take the fight to them. Let's show these boys how it's done. Quinjet inbound. We'll be on site in a few. It's game over for all of you self-proclaimed heroes. All right, let's do this. And this title right here is definitely referring to the number one hero in America, Star and Stripe because with the ending of last chapter, we know she is going to be the first foreign hero to arrive in Japan, and she is doing so in style by disobeying orders and hitching a ride with a fleet of stealth bombers. America is on its way to help save the day, and hopefully the other heroes aren't too far behind her. Because based off of Stain's information from Tartarus, we now know that Shigaraki's body will not be perfected in one month, but instead, Three days time. Well, good luck with that. Three days! So our pro heroes are going to need all of the help that they can get going up against All For One and Shigaraki, and having America's number one hero fighting on our side will definitely help to even out the odds. So going into this chapter, I'm just excited to hopefully learn more about Star and Stripe, and to hopefully understand her relationship with All Might and why she was referring to him as Master. So, mount ladies and gentle criminals, without further ado, let's dive right into chapter 329. I've got this one. Yo, and kicking this chapter off, we have a full page shot showing a star and stripe in all of her glory. Ha 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 ha! Fear not, citizens, everything is fine. You're safe because I am here! She is posed up, cape flowing behind her, and she looks ready for action. But damn, does she look like a female version of All Might right here. Especially with the way that her hair is spiked up behind her. Wow. Just look at her body in this shot. How muscular and toned she is. The biceps, the thighs, even her ass. Oh. Gee, look at the butt on her. As far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. Extra thick! That right there is America's ass, and we salute it. <laughs> Star and Stripe looks awesome on this first page. The first move has been made. And there we see the Demon King himself sitting upon his throne. We got All For One sitting down, hooked up to his ventilator that is keeping his ass alive, but he is surrounded by all of his high-end gnomes. It's because you took everything from me. Look at my body. I'm alive, yes, but only because of tubes and machines. That's why I want you to suffer until your last breath all night. A crucial moment is nigh. The escaped convicts and their antics have provided the perfect distraction for keeping the short staff police and heroes from devoting their full attention to us. We have played a game of hide and seek on this small island nation, and we have won. Look. And it looks like they are hiding out in some type of cave that is covered up by a whole bunch of foliage. I assure you, we are quite safe from your friends here. Are you sure about that? and it looks like All For One is talking to Spinner right here. We could have also won by just leaving the country. Hmm? You misread my intent. Winning this little match was the short-term objective, and obtaining one for all is the mid-game goal. <laughs> really? If getting one for all is mid-game, what's end-game for him then? Is it just ruling over Japan after a hero society crumbles? What? And Spinner is asking the exact same question. Not the final one? I've planned ahead for a long life. And within those plans, this very moment presents me with both the greatest obstacle and the ultimate opportunity. 
I have heaps of friends all around the world. And we get this shot of the globe behind All For One showing how far his reach is across the world with all of these crime syndicates. We don't know how many sympathizers he may have hiding in the world. So right now, we need to make sure we don't accidentally provoke any of them. Who's number 46,853? Oh, no. I have heaps of friends all around the globe. All Might may have eradicated organized crime here in Japan, but other nations are a different story. Once those friends of mine start stirring up trouble, each country will have to weigh its own priorities against the needs of others. And this is the exact same conversation we saw happening at the UN in last chapter. Because of all these crime syndicates stirring up trouble, it's keeping the other pro heroes from leaving their countries and coming to help in Japan. Everything that has transpired has done so according to my design. All for one plan for that the entire time. And we got Spinner saying, okay, so what's this obstacle and the opportunity? Star and strike. Hey! Yo, and we got a shot of New York City right here. We can see the Statue of Liberty up front and center with the Freedom Tower directly behind her with the island of Manhattan. Star and Stripe, the strongest woman around and the hero who reigns supreme in the land of the free, the home of heroes. She shrugs off cheap tricks and petty tactics. So this is a gamble. She will prove far more than a mere nuisance. But should I manage to steal her quirk, the rest of this war will be just a formality. I feel simply terrible about taking her ability. When I see a good quirk, I can't help but desire it. Quite the bad habit, yes. Now then, shall we begin? <laughs> of course. Of course, All For One is trying to steal her quirk. When AFO sees a quirk that he likes, he takes. But that begs the question, what is her quirk? Mine. It has to be a uniquely powerful quirk for All For One to desire it. And based on Star and Stripe's look, it has to be strength related considering she is inspired by All Might. So I am very curious to find out what this quirk is, but I am glad that this will be a gamble for All For One to take it. It is a high risk, high reward, and you know just from looking at Star and Stripe, she is not going to make it easy for All For One to take her quirk. Now, Unlike Young Toya and the others, you've devoted yourself to guarding me. But it is nearly time for you to take action as well, Aguchi. It's your and we turn. And just see All For One pointing at Spinner. In the days to come, you, Spinner, will support Tomura Shigaraki in his crusade and do justice to your name as one who spins this tale. Why suffer? Why not destroy instead? And when Shigaraki spoke, I thought, I want to see the future this guy envisions. I still do. Shigaraki, keep fighting. I'll take on as much as I can. Yo, I like that play on words All For One is using with Spinner's name. Telling him that he can spin his own story as he sends him out to be at Shigaraki's side, helping him and defending him on his crusade. All For One right now is putting a lot of responsibilities on Spinner's shoulders right here. You were a veritable nobody. And as a heteromorph, you have led a difficult life. You hear the rumblings already, don't you? So many out there sympathize with your cause from the shadows. And we see this panel shot showing us graffiti on the side of a building that reads Paranormal Liberation, no. as well as a poster with Spinner's face on it that reads Spinner, our voice. All ordeals heretofore have led to the coming Paranormal Liberation. Uh, like I said, I don't see you bringing much value to anyone. I know that. Better than anybody. I'm a follower. I don't have a real goal. I lack motivation. Except, when I saw him, he changed me. If I didn't jump on the lead bandwagon, I'd be a nobody. That's why I'm devoted to him! Got a problem with that? Huh? No, of course you don't. Cause you guys are the same. 
Well, well, well. How the turntables. Spinner has literally become the poster child for the liberation movement. He has gone from a complete nobody to a somebody now. He is a symbol for all heteromorphs to rally behind and to join the liberation cause. Hello there. Which makes sense why we saw those Spinner cosplayers a few chapters back. Those were heteromorphs that were inspired by Spinner and are now devote followers of him. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Horikoshi has been slowly building up this heteromorph discrimination since the end of the war arc, and it's going to build into something big that our heroes will have to address in the future. Reed Destro was inherently beholden to the old way of things. But, behold, the cinders of liberation yearn to burn bright. Hello. And we can see some familiar faces right here that popped up during the war arc. Paranormal Liberation Front Surviving Advisors. And these were the advisors that were under Spinner's command in his Vanguard squad. We of the Vanguard Action Support Regiments were assigned to fight under Spinner given who we are. And because they were heteromorphs, they were put under Spinner's command, and now they are devote followers of him trying to rally more heteromorphs to the liberation cause. But now we just see somebody holding on to a cell phone right here. The great skeptic outlasted his peers and now tells us that liberation is at hand. We are to eliminate what resistance remains and realize this revolution. I'm back, bitches! <laughs> yes, he has returned. My boy skeptic is finally back and we can see him just clack, clack, clacking away furiously at his laptop as he's trying to rally the warriors back to the liberation movement. Sir, unleash the monkey! Yes, muster the warriors. In the way that's simplest for you lot, the League may rub me the wrong way, but their influence certainly has its uses. Reed Destro himself saw the light and hope they represent. Hey. And now we go over to Toga, who is off alone somewhere, and we can see her staring at a wall with graffiti that reads, Death to Hero Society, Look. but it has posters on it with one of them reading, The Tragedy of Himiko Toga plays out to this day. You are the embodiment of a repressed superhuman society. You were interested in blood, but society couldn't comprehend that. That's why you put a lid on your desires, suppressing yourself, wearing a mask over your true identity. An unfortunate soul who sacrificed herself through the suppression of your meta powers. That is who you are, correct? You pitiful girl. Your life will be written about in our modern-day holy book as a shining example of that truth. That right there is exactly what Miss Curious was trying to do with Toga back during MVA. Hello. She wanted to expose and use Toga's tragic story to benefit the liberation cause. So it looks like even in her death, she was successful in getting to use Toga's story and now they are using it alongside spinners. I'm gonna burn you up. And from Toga, we now go over to white-haired Dobby, who is somewhere in the woods, most likely thinking about what he's gonna do next when he confronts Endeavor. It makes no difference whether or not the League of Villains are true liberators, destined to accept this mission and burden. Hold them sacred. We shall endow them with divinity. Yo, and I like this panel shot, cutting Spinner in half, showing him on one side, but the other showing Stain. Let me introduce myself. Call me Spinner. I'm here to make Stain's dreams a reality. And there's a million of us just like me, who cuss like me, who just don't give a fuck like me, who dress like me, walk, talk, and act like me. It just might be the next best thing, but not quite me. Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just in my and I'm curious to see what Spinner is thinking about in this moment, because Stain was the one that inspired him to join the League 
in the first place. And now that Stain is out and about, we could eventually get Stain and Spinner coming face to face, and I am looking forward to when and if that happens. Once Tomura Shigaraki has destroyed all, we shall sow the seeds of the future. Meanwhile... Looks like we are transitioning away from our villains and going back over to the Genus Mobile, and it is still driving down this highway with Hawks and Genus. We can on. also see Endeavor flying Human Torch style right beside them. She'll be entering our airspace soon. After meeting up, let's start planning right away. It's seriously reassuring to have Star on our side, but are they gonna throw the book at her? You know, after all this? And even Hawks is aware that Star is disobeying orders to come to Japan right now. Her nature may prove our salvation. For quite some time now, I've wanted to chat with her about that treasured vintage denim from the gold rush. Oh my god. Heroes and villains are cut from the same cloth. Be strong as heavyweight denim, smart as tailor-made suits. May your minds and bodies be as sharp as your genes. Leave it to Genist. Even during times of crisis, he wants to geek out over American Levi jeans with America's number one hero. <laughs> you gotta love Genist. Oh no! Ooh, and it looks like we have a call coming in right here. Tsuka Uchi here. Endeavor, Hawks, you listening? I'm listening. And we can see Endeavor listening through his comm. A report came in just now, along her flight path. 50 kilometers ahead of the landing point is him. What? He's shown himself. What the fuck? And this panel just has us zooming out to sea right here. Yo, don't tell me Star and Strife is about to be intercepted by Shigaraki or all for one. And here we go. Yo! here to kill me. I will defeat you and end this once and for all. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm! Wait, 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 wait. Everybody are fing calm down! Let them fight. It is about to go down. Calm. We've got a double page spread right here where we can clearly see that that is Shigaraki waiting patiently for the arrival of America's number one hero. Let's go. It's about to go down. All for one, wasting no time right now with the opportunity he was given. He has sent Shigaraki out here to intercept Star to stop her from making it to Japan, and they are going to try to steal her quirk in this moment. But just like All For One said at the beginning, it is not going to be easy. This woman looks like she can brawl in fights, and it's going to be a high cost, high reward situation, but I am ready to see what is about to go down. And I absolutely love this double page spread, especially seeing just the squadron of stealth bombers coming into view where you can clearly see the silhouette of Star standing on top of one of the bombers. I was not expecting to get a fight so soon, but I am hyped and I am ready to see Star in action. Behold. Yo. And just look at the muscles on her as she is striking this hero pose. Damn! Just standing there heroically, looking very much like All Might, especially with that big smile on her face. Such a warm welcome. Before I've even arrived, you're that free to do as you please, mister? And you just have Shigaraki glaring back at Star. And he doesn't say anything, but you can also see he's not wearing the hand on his face. Mm. Really makes you think. So, is Shigaraki being controlled by the Vestige right now? Or is he actually in full control? in this situation. Let's see what you've got. But because Shigaraki didn't answer, you just see that smile get wiped away from Star's face, and now she is angry. Are you the villain they call 
all for one? Good question. What exactly am I? And then we just get a full page shot showing Shigaraki right here, standing on top of his flying Nomu. Shigaraki versus Star and Stripe is about to begin. That right there is the end of the chapter. Next chapter hits October 17th. Quinjet inbound. We'll be on site in a few. There you are. Have you come here to kill me? Don't make me laugh. I'm the ruler around here. You don't know how strong I've gotten. Let me show you. I will defeat you and end this once and for all. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! Yo, this ending right here has me too damn hyped and excited for this fight we are about to get between Shigaraki and Star and Stripe. I am ready for this. But even though I am very, very excited, I am also a bit nervous because with the setup that we have, it does kind of seem like Star is going to be losing her quirk in this moment. And I'm hoping that is not going to be the case because we don't even know what her quirk is and why All For One wants it so bad. I just want her to make it out of this fight with her quirk intact, make it into Japan to be with our heroes and to see her interacting with Deku and All Might. We will just have to see if that will be the case. But I am also very curious to see what is going on with Shigaraki right here. Because with what we're able to see, he doesn't have the hand on his face right now. And it seems like he's in full control of his body, despite saying he doesn't know exactly who he is in this moment. Is this actually Shigaraki? Or is this the vestige of All For One just pulling a fast one and he's going to reemerge during a crucial moment in this fight? I don't know, but I am excited to see what is about to go down with this aerial battle, and I'm hoping that Horikoshi doesn't cut away from it. So with that, guys, that right there is my live reaction to chapter 329 of My Hero Academia. But for now, I definitely want to hear your guys' thoughts on the events of this chapter. What were your guys' favorite moment from this chapter? And are you guys hyped and excited for this fight between Shigaraki and Star and Stripe? And going into next chapter, are we finally going to learn what Star's quirk is? And will she end up losing it in this fight against Shigaraki? Leave your thoughts down in the comments below and feel free to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon that you guys can be alerted for every new MHA reaction that pops up on the channel. But if you guys want to talk about other things or talk about MHA outside of YouTube, feel free to also follow me over on Twitter. A link to my Twitter account can also be found in the description down below. But that's going to do it for me here, guys. So until next week, when we have chapter 330 of My Hero Academia. I'll talk to you guys next time. But remember, go beyond plus ultra.